Hey guys, going on Megan here. Most people are not eating enough protein or the right amount of protein for testosterone production. Some are eating too much, some are eating too little. And I'm going to show you guys why the correct amount is in this range. And then I'm also going to read the comments and see what everybody else is saying. All right. So the poll was how much protein do you eat per day for maximum testosterone production? And I put don't confuse with maximum muscle growth because it's actually two different things, believe it or not. All right. 11% are eating less than 100 grams or more than 220 grams, 32% are eating between 100 and 149 grams of protein per day, 26% are eating between 150 to 170, and 31% are eating between 170 and 220. Now keep in mind, this depends on your your goal, your height, your body weight, how much, how many calories you're eating, whatever. I'm just making these polls based on the average lifter, the average person who views the video. So average height, average weight, whatever, right? I'm going to make other videos about the specifics, like pound per weight, whatever. All right. So first, let me explain to you guys why you do not want to be under 100 or more than 220, right? If you're eating less than 100 grams of protein a day, chances are you're not getting um, the right amount of essential amino acids. You're not getting the right amount of leucine. It's going to be very hard to get uh, over 10 grams of leucine a day if you're eating less than 100 grams of protein. If, Unless the majority of your protein is coming from very, very high quality protein, which for most people it's not. Um, so if you're eating less than 100 grams, um, assuming you're the average person, average weight, you know, average lifter, that's way too low. Remember, you need protein for testosterone production, believe it or not, because you need protein to synthesize tissue, synthesize proteins, and activate your genes, even the genes that are involved in the enzymes that produce testosterone. You need protein for everything. Um, but you do not want too much protein. Why? Because one, it's going to fuck up your urea cycle. It's going to hurt your liver's ability to access, uh, to remove excess ammonia. But it's also going to make it so that you're not getting enough fats and you're not getting enough carbohydrates, depending on your training goals. You know, depending on how hard you train, you need a certain amount of carbohydrates to keep cortisol down and to increase free testosterone, to keep SHBG in check, to increase DHT, to increase thyroid T3, right? So, if your protein is too high, chances are you're not getting enough saturated fats. You're not getting enough monounsaturated fats. Um, and uh, you're definitely not getting enough carbohydrates to fuel training. So that's why you want to be somewhere in the middle, right? You don't want to have too low protein, too high protein. Now, again, it depends on your goals because if you're cutting uh, or if you enhance, then it's the other way around. If you're on TRT or you're on, you're on steroids, then yeah, you can eat a lot more protein. Or uh, if your goal is body recomposition and you're natural, you can eat a lot more protein. If your testosterone is already extremely high, you can eat more protein because you can handle the the drop in testosterone that happens from eating too much protein. And when I say too much, I mean like way too much for your body weight, right? So it depends on the person. But on average, you want to be between here, right? So, uh, yeah, let's look at the comments, right? My rule of thumb is still the same. You want at least one gram per pound of body weight. Again, lean body weight, obviously, right? If you're obese, if you're 300 pounds, you don't need 300 pounds of protein, right? So one gram per pound of body weight is enough for most people, right? And again, assuming you lean like around 10 to 15% body fat. The only time I put clients above that number is if, again, they're trying to recomp, right? They have a lot of body fat, therefore i or they're insulin resistant, therefore I cannot give them too many carbs, so I will increase their protein um, to compensate. But for most people, you know, one gram per pound of body weight or per centimeter of height is uh, is enough. Also, if your protein quality is very high, then you could go on the low side. You could go slightly below one gram per pound of body weight, right? So if you're getting very high quality protein, meaning a lot of leucine, a lot of essential amino acids, then you could eat slightly less than one gram per pound of body weight. You know, if your protein quality is bad, then, yeah, you definitely want to eat one gram or even 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. So, like I said, it depends on many factors. All right, let's look at the comments. All right, in one of your vids, you mentioned you eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So, since I want to weigh 85 kg, I eat around 187 pounds, and it feels good as fuck. Yeah, but it also depends on how much you weigh currently, right? As long as you're close to your goal weight, then, yeah, you could definitely use your goal weight as your, as your target. But if you're too far from your goal weight, then... You know, especially if you're trying to bulk up, you want to be very careful. Um, so let's say you weigh like 50 kg. Oh, okay, I'm exaggerating. Nobody weighs 50 kgs. But let's say you weigh, I don't know, 70 kgs and your goal is 100 kgs or some crazy shit. Yeah, you, you don't want to eat that much because you don't have that tissue yet. But um, anyway, let's go. Um, I'm aiming for 200 after rewatching a protein video and seeing that you can get 40 grams a meal, 
man who just uh, da, 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 da. yeah yeah like i said uh, it depends on your body weight your goal it depends on, on a lot of issues you know but it depends on a lot of factors but like i said you want to be in that middle range right it also depends on how high your t levels already are if they're already high then you could afford to increase your protein and you know sacrifice carbs and fats or if you insulin resistant or you're trying to do body recomposition you could afford to eat a lot more protein because there are a ton of benefits to high protein you know and when i say high i mean higher than the rda i don't mean high like oh man i'm gonna eat 400 grams of protein and i weigh 150 pounds no you know but uh yeah protein is very important for like i say protein synthesis uh, neurotransmitter synthesis you know dopamine right you need phenylalanine and tyrosine to make dopamine um you need enough protein for your body to synthesize its own creatine to make its own carnitine um i could go on and on there's so many benefits to protein like i said you just don't want to overdo it you want to be more than the rda definitely more than rda right but not so much so that you sacrificing essential fats and and carbohydrates depending on your training load all right next i have 240 to 250 grams of protein a day on average i'm 246 pounds da, da, da. Hey, like i say if you feel good your androgen status is good your grip strength is good every morning blood pressure is good whatever yeah keep doing whatever you're doing and, you know that's that's all i care about is you making progress uh as long as you're getting your other nutrients you're fine and like i say it's going to reflect in your grip strength anyway if you, if you if anything is bad for you you will know because your grip strength will go down so next uh i do intermittent fasting and protein intake decrease uh da, 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 the sweet spot da, da, da. <laughs> play guitar you too much protein is bad for you yeah there's always a smeagol guy that's gonna you know straw man everything i say and ignore the inverted u curve you know um let's see i've been watching your videos and i used to believe that carbon intake nonsense i've been putting a lot more protein and vitamins in my diet da, 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 da. um geez you guys gotta put commas and periods and shit because all right but uh let's see I'm not, I don't even know what you're trying to say because I'm trying to read really fast, guys, because this feed is going to be too long. I stopped counting, but I used to have four meals a day with 50 grams of protein plus another. And also keep in mind, if you're doing full body workouts, that increases your protein needs, you know. Um, it actually doubles it. Uh, your post-workout, you know, protein needs, not your daily protein needs. So, but I think I made a video about that already. And like I said, it all depends on leucine. It's about the quality of the protein. So if you have 20 grams of protein, but the leucine content is high, so it's a good protein source, like, you know, again, red meat, um, chicken, like red meat, whey, whatever, anything that's high in leucine, then yeah, that, that reduces the amount of protein you need. So it's really leucine and essential amino acids. It's not just the total protein count. Because you could eat 40 grams of, you know, plant protein, but that's going to have very low leucine unless it's obviously a mixture of different plants. So it's about how much leucine the protein has. Whenever I say high quality protein, I'm talking about protein that has enough leucine. So if you're doing full body workouts, that drastically increases your leucine uh, needs you know so either try to eat 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal that has a lot of leucine or if it doesn't have a lot of leucine try to eat 40 grams of protein per meal you know but even doing that five times a day that's still 200 grams of protein so you're not even close to the dangerous you know to the danger zone and like i said earlier if you're taller or bigger you, you definitely can handle a lot more protein next uh hit it early uh and by the way watch the video that i already did about uh at what level protein becomes too high um i already did a video about that but next hit an early morning workout da, 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 da. um i'm 260 i based on lean body mass correct i mean you should base it on lean body mass um or anything close to your 10 percent body weight t anything close to your 10 percent body fat weight you know but uh two, 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 two. um probably on the lower end of this but i'm fasting on sunday da, 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 da. What ratio would this be? I already said, you know, it's anywhere between 1 gram to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. But like I said, it depends on so many different things. As long as you're, as long as you're around 1 gram per pound of body weight, assuming lean body weight, you're fine. Um, and obviously, you want to spread it out throughout the day, right? Try not to eat it all at once. Um, it's not going to kill your gains, but it's definitely not optimal. I'm seriously cutting to the absolute... Uh, now, also, if you're cutting, you definitely need more protein because if you're cutting unicaloric deficits, your body's going to use a lot of the protein that you eat for energy. So, um, I don't count, although I have... Da, 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 da. Um, you don't have to count if you're disciplined. If you, tracking and counting is for people who are either not disciplined or people who are really, really, really conscientious about reaching their goals. You know, that's when tracking becomes important. But if you're disciplined and you have the same routine every day, there's no need to count because you, know, you, you could estimate what you're getting. Um, but for most people you better fucking count because most people are not disciplined and most people are not conscientious enough to, uh, 
you know, to guarantee that they're heading towards their goal on a weekly basis. Um, let's see. It fluctuates, but it's never below 120 grams. I love meat. Pause. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, no need to go below 120 unless you weigh very little. Protein intake that increase. <laughs> so did my trips to the toilet. Depends if you're cutting. Yeah, I already mentioned that. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, at 150, I eat 130 on a bad day. That's actually uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. People say too much protein is bad on the liver. I already mentioned that in another video. It depends on how you define too much protein because, you know, some people call too much protein more than the RDA when it's actually good. Um, but if you mean too much, like, like I said earlier, so much protein that, you know, your body can't even freaking handle it. Yes, yeah, bad because, remember, your body still has to excrete ammonia, you know, and, you know, the urea cycle. And if you eat too much protein, like way more than your body can handle, yes, that's going to put a lot of burden on, on your on your liver. Um, but, like I said, most people are not eating that much, you know. That's like more than 40 to 50 percent of your caloric intake. You know, you will have to eat a lot of protein to start damaging your liver or to start, you know, suppressing the urea cycle. But when that happens, your body's going to adapt. What it's going to do is going to lower your testosterone and it's going to increase your cortisol to, you know, upregulate the urea cycle. Uh, next, uh, da, 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 da. my dad, man, because it's a tofu. Ha, ha. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me see how long this video is. See if I have to stop. Oh, yep, very long. Let's hurry up. Usually average, I prioritize carbs and fat. Um, like I said, as long as you're getting enough carbs and fats, you know, it's fine. Um, and keep in mind, this is mainly for testosterone maximization. You know, this is not the same as maximizing muscle growth. Uh, let's see, because if you want to maximize muscle growth, then yeah, you want to be on the high side. Not the dangerous side, but you want to be on the high side of protein intake. Um uh, why is over 220 bad if you big? No, if you big, it's not bad. But, you know, how many people are over 220 pounds or over 200 pounds lean? You know, not a lot. Um, but I'm, I did mention the, the exceptions, you know. I did mention the situations when a, a person who's not over 200 pounds could benefit from very, very high protein. <laughs> why does my guy look like that at over 220? Because, again, I already explained that, so... Let's see, uh, for 99% of men, eating more than 100 gram makes little sense. Uh, I don't know about that. This is actually wrong. Um, it depends on the quality of the protein. Um, how can you apply universal scale to people of different ways? Because I'm factoring in the average, you clown. I mentioned that a million times. Um, I finally made the creators category. Nice, nice. Um, that's alternating count. Of course, you know, it's the average that matters, the weekly average, you know. Um, let's see. I eat 0.5 grams of protein per inch of rooster I have. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Uh, poll makes no sense. You should ask how much protein per pound of body weight. I already did. Ask protein per pound of body weight. That's a poll that I already did, I think, over a year ago. And it's another one I'm going to do soon. So, clown for thinking that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but here's your cookie for, for you know, trying to be smart. Um, let's see. How is 220 grams? Should we go to category? I already explained that. Um, most people that are doing this poll don't weigh over 180, 170 lean. Um, so, let's see. You know, honestly, I don't have a clue. I just eat whatever my mom cooks me. Um... Over 220 bite me about 3.5 calories a day, 250 rest fat carnivore. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. I mean, if you're eating 3,500 calories a day, over 220 is not bad at all because it's not over 40. In fact, let me do the math, right? If you're eating, let's see, if you're eating 3,500 calories a day, uh, I'm assuming you're very active and you're either tall or have a lot of lean mass, I'm hoping. So that's 250 times four. That's a thousand calories. Can't believe I had to do the math on that, but that's how you know I'm tired. Uh, let's see. So a thousand, yeah. So that's that's fine, right? Because that's only twenty eight percent of your calories, right? Two hundred fifty grams of protein. That's a thousand calories. Thousand divided by thirty five hundred. That's yeah. That's fine. That's only twenty eight percent of your calories, right? The danger zone of too high protein is over thirty five percent. You know, especially forty percent and higher. So uh, I don't know why you think that that's uh, that's not good. And if you're doing Full body training, you say heavy compounds, that is just fine. 
as long as you're getting enough fats or carbs, um, especially fats, you're fine. Um, I don't think protein helps with test production. It absolutely does. It absolutely does. I mean, guys, protein helps with everything, right? Your body cannot make testosterone without the enzymes, you know, without the genes associated with steroidogenesis. And how do you think your body activates genes? How do you think your body, you know, transcribes and translates genes, right? Your body needs amino acids. That's why you could live uh, without carbs, you know, but you would die. <laughs> you would die very fast without essential proteins. Uh, let's see. Not to mention that you need protein for dopamine, right? Without dopamine, you're going to have too much prolactin. Too much prolactin is going to lower GnRH and LH, and you're going to have low testosterone. I mean, I could I could show all the different pathways of how pro protein helps with testosterone. You need protein for antioxidant production, your body's own antioxidant systems, you know, glutathione and stuff like that. You need protein for your body to make carnitine if you're not eating enough meat. You need protein. You need, And all of those things play a role in mitochondria function and, you know, testosterone production. Uh, you need protein for IGF-1 and growth hormone. And without IGF-1, your body's going to downregulate 5-alpha reductase. So you're not going to have enough DHT, even if you have enough testosterone. I could go on and on. But yeah, you definitely need protein. Do not play with protein. Just don't overdo it. All right, guys. Hope this video helps. See you guys in the Discord, the Reddit. Post your questions there. And uh, I'm out. All right, guys. Don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.